So what I'm going to do here is just put some info in just to see that it works. To um, in to work into the table. I'll fetch you the date or so I suppose. Let's get it right on the beginning. Female, male, married, yeah. Save record. So that now should be in our save all that. Close. Let's close it out first. Yeah, so you have to close it out before it'll update. So basically, when you do your form, uh, doing your table, look, you see, it's table, table, even though we know it's a form. But it wants saving as a table, I mean, as a form, like FRM, and then you'll know you doing forms and tables not tables tables so our Mr Smith we've got all his details his postcode his married his mail and all that that we imported from our form that one that's the one the machine creates for you we're not going to be able to delete that so we'll close that out you've got to close it first before you can delete it yeah, so that's the only form we've got left now. And we've got to close it before you can rename it. I think, close, yeah. Let's just rename it. We'll just call it on the end form. So we know it's a form table, even though it shows us here. And that's it, it's as easy to put the info in your form as long as your table is closed it'll update your table straight away so when you open your table all your information will be in there and the next one we're going to do is how to do different forms and different tables and form relationships between them so that we can all have a display on a different form or report for like invoicing <laughs>